project we actually proposed scientifically directly to the Australian Antarctic Division and they chose us in competition with researchers from around the world. They wanted to be sure to support the highest quality research. I think they were impressed by our track record and knowing clearly what we want to accomplish scientifically in the next 10 years. This research is about cosmic rays, which are particles from space. So when they hit Earth's atmosphere, these collisions cause many other secondary particles that can come to ground level. So as we sit here, there are hundreds of these particles going through our body every second. Cosmic rays change as a function of time. And these changes are telling us about our own sun, about the solar wind and solar storms. Solar storms have many effects on human economic activity. Satellites or spacecraft can be damaged by these high energy particles from space. And these days we use satellites a lot for mobile phones or for any sort of communication or navigation. So that's a great economic loss. Research using neutron monitor in Thailand as well. Thailand is the place on land that has the world's strongest horizontal magnetic field. So for a particle to come to Thailand, they have to have the highest energy. It's the most difficult place for cosmic rays to come. So we set up the Princess Sirinton neutron monitor. So we got a site inside an Air Force base at the highest location in Thailand, at the summit of Doi and then we developed that to be a computer program that could was one of the world's leading computer programs for how particles from the sun come to Earth. So I talked them into preparing their data in a way, and they use data from all over the Earth, and they coordinate detectors from other countries. So we also need to use data that come from Antarctica or near the North Pole in order to study these solar events. Actually, we applied the Australian Antarctic Division since 2018 and this is a team of researchers from Thailand including Mahidon University and Chiang Mai University and also researchers in Japan, Korea and Australia and we applied it was evaluated very strenuously and it was very competitive and they did select us for support interestingly it is not support in the form of money it is logistical support and we applied for 10 years and for three trips by researchers to go for about 10 days and then come back. Now we also had to find funding for them to get from Thailand to Australia. One special thing that we are doing with the detectors in Mawson in Antarctica is that in Thailand we have already developed special techniques so that a single neutron monitor not only looks at the number of cosmic rays coming to Earth as a function of time, but can also study their energy as a function of time. Doyington was the first station in the world to develop these techniques that we can also measure the energy from a single neutron monitor. We're going to implement those electronics in Antarctica and also our spatial data analysis techniques that we developed in Thailand. So then the monitor in Mawson, Australia will also have this ability to determine the energy of cosmic rays as well as their number as a function of time. There are long-term benefits to mankind as a whole. It's very difficult to predict where great technical, technological innovations will come from. So it was from allowing brilliant minds to do what they think is interesting to understand nature better than these amazing technological innovations develop for everyone. Now, specifically for our research, there are also short-term benefits because we can provide, by maintaining this detector in Antarctica, we contribute to developing these alerts. Be proud of things that we have already done. So I'm proud of the research track record of our team at Mahidon University. Also proud of the support that we have received from Mahidon University and from Thai funding agencies. Actually, each research project that we do in our group, we stress the high quality of research, and almost all of our research is published in top journals worldwide.